Define artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence, such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision making, and translation between languages. Suppose we redefine artificial intelligence. A machine that can do things only humans could do. It's one definition. Another, we could define it as a projection of minds, right? A tool modeled from people. We use our brains to engineer new intelligence. We create the intelligence and it becomes an extension of who we are. We're entering into a new era of intelligence everywhere. The internet of things, smartphones, lights, thermostats, you get it. We cognitize the world and our experiences are shaped by machine. AI systems can describe our interests better than we can ourselves. All we have to do is reach into our pockets. This empowers us to improve our lives and those around us. More automation creates room for more self-actualization. In a twisted state of duality, bad actors have new tools of suffering. Amazon selling you junk when you're most vulnerable. Human labor becoming obsolete. Your privacy being stripped away. Unsupervised networks created to attack you and your devices. Self-driving cars that need to decide who lives and who dies. As you can see, the intelligence era is powered by information. We flood the internet with our personal data. In return, we get great AI-powered services. This raises a lot of ethical concerns, though. This is a really complex subject. Ideally, my perfect machine learning course would begin with the ethical uh, discussion. Trying to pinpoint the best, best scenario for ethics in machine learning, it's insanely difficult because it's a cutting edge science. There's new breakthroughs every week where people are doing these amazing things just weren't possible before. These new breakthroughs are allowing people to do things at an increased speed or have more access to information, um, maybe giving people with disabilities new ways to interact with computers. So many great things uh, are possible with machine learning, but it's a, it's a double-edged sword and for every great thing that we can do, there's also another terrible thing that could cause a lot of suffering. So I've got a couple questions. Uh, I want to just kind of free flow, talk about them, hopefully come up with some sort of generalized notion of the best ways to create new intelligent systems. So the first question is, when is it alright to collect data? And when is it not okay to collect data? So I have this kind of generalized concept of public spaces being more acceptable areas to collect data. Um, of course people are entitled to their privacy and it's important to always offer opt-out possibilities for people. People may choose, even if they are in a public space, that they don't want their picture as part of this algorithm. That said, um, in the US we have a lot of cameras on stoplights. It's unclear how this data is used. Maybe it's used to optimize traffic flow. Maybe it's used for facial recognition. It's unclear exactly how it's used, which is a little unsettling. So a certain level of transparency would be helpful in this case. I mean, at the same time, we need to be considerate of people's expectations and not try to uh, collect data in a way that we know will make people uncomfortable. Um, because there's a lot of damage that can happen as kind of a, a trust in society. So these public private areas, we, we need to kind of work on our uh, expectations of these areas as there are more cameras on smartphones. And we see these videos recently of uh, fights breaking out on airplanes. Is it okay to record these situations? Do we have an obligation to document these? I don't have a definitive answer of when is data collection okay, when is it not okay. It's a very fluid topic and so it's kind of this evolving thought process that uh, 
has to be built upon over time. This is where I'm at now. Uh, hopefully this information is useful for some time to come. Another question. When must we use automation? As you can see, this is kind of a leading question implying that there are scenarios where automation is incredibly important. We do have a strong incentive to automate certain things. For example, people that need to, say, moderate content. So on Facebook, people can post anything they want. Other people can, of course, report content as being illegal, being inappropriate, being harmful, all of these negative things. A human, of course, can moderate these things, um, but exposing humans to a lot of terrible things can be really detrimental to uh, their mental state. So this is one case where a machine could be used to really improve the lives of these workers and give these people an opportunity to do work that is less harmful to them. There are a lot of jobs out there that are dangerous or harmful or high risk. Uh, these are the jobs which are, have the clearest obligation for us to automate. We have to think about how we can uplift the standards of how people live and how people work. And on the opposite spectrum, there are certain jobs that need a human touch. For example, we've seen social networks recently uh, start pushing more moderation of low quality posts. Uh, fake news, I'm doing air quotes. So we've seen this problem of false information spreading quicker than true information. And this is a good example of when we should not automate. Um, of course we do need automation because there's no way to employ people to moderate everything on the internet. So we need a balance of machines can do a lot of it, a lot of this, but we need continual training of the machines and to do that, we need the human touch. And so we have this obligation to make sure that the information that is spreading is true information, is information that's not going to harm people. Lastly, uh, we have to be thoughtful, we have to be critical, and we have to provide education, and we have to think about ways in which to best utilize this new cutting edge technology to improve our lives. And we have to think about ways to combat people that are using the same technology to cause suffering. Right, so I feel this need to share this and so there's like the strong connection between uh, what we're talking about in the video and why I make these videos. Thank you, um, we got a bunch of new subscribers, so welcome the new subscribers. Of course, if you want to support this type of video, you can visit my website in the link in the description or there will be an annotation at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching.